Hello and welcome to this tutorial video in which I'll be showing you how to make a clock which goes in integers and tells you the time in word form. Much as this. As you can see it says the time is 1 and to be honest it looks like 1 uh, and it is coded correctly so that it will be 1. Uh, this exports onto a monitor and in our case it's going to be 5x2 although you can do it whatever you want without having to edit many lines because we've created a function uh, we've defined a function so that that tells that has the two sets of coordinates. So you don't have to input uh, like 20 different sets of the same coordinates. You input it once and it changes it. So it's really easy to edit. So anyway, let's get into this tutorial. Here we have the same setup. I have got some lines mainly because it is night time. I'm on single player and I can't set time zero. But when you set time zero with this, you should notice that if it says the time is 7 a.m. then your clock is working quick. This works better than servers, and it's something that you can just generally impress your friends with. So anyway, first we need to go into this computer and edit. And you can call the clock whatever you want. For purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to call it clock. Now you're in here, we're going to define some simple variables. These are going to be side, and you can side equals, and then the name of the side. So it's on the right. If we want that one, you would put side is left. I have only got two there because the OCD is kicking in and I just want it to be symmetrical, as it is. So we have side right, then we'll have text. This is the text that you saw at the top of that screen, where it says the time is. So we're going to put text equals the time is. But you can write whatever you want there, that's totally fine. Now we need to define the monitor. The monitor is just a variable, and we're going to be referring to it later. So you can call it monitor, you can call it mod. I'm going to call it monitor. Um, because you don't have to write out many times and it keeps it um, a lot more obvious. There's monitor equal peripheral wrap and then the side. And we've already defined what side it is here. So you don't have to actually write right. You can just put side and it does it. Now we're going to actually link to the variable. So monitor dot set text scale. Ooh, this makes the size three times bigger than it normally is. Now here's something called a function, if you didn't know, I, I've only picked this up recently, but it is a lot more helpful. So you're going to define a function, and then anything under here will be the function, and this can be a set of variables, a set of commands, whatever you wish. I wouldn't say variables, to be honest, that's just slipped out. Um, so we're going to have monitor.clear, monitor.setCursePause, um, to... That is just the, the two and one is purely um, the second line, x, y, it's not the second line, um, that is the first line where it says the time it is, sorry, and then we're going to have monitor dot write the text, which is defined there, so you don't have to write the time as you can just write the variable text. Now we're going to also have monitor dot set cursor pause and then wherever your second one is going to be and for, in my case I'm going to call it 82 because it's around the center of the screen on a a um, 5x2 computer and now you can end the, fa the function this ends this function and no longer means that everything will be equal to the function so now you can refer to the function and the function is fine function so x, we need to make a loop. So to do this, if you didn't know, you're going to put x equals 0. And we're just quickly going to define another two variables. am, that's the variable am, equals the word am. And pm equals the, ver uh, the word pm. Now we'll create some breaks. While x definitely equals, which is 2 of those, 1. Do, because it's while and do and if and then. They're the two sets of things to go together. Time equals os dot time and you're going to put monitor dot set cursor I know we define this in a variable but we need to do this just two more times cursor pause two one so that it gets into the loop and starts the loop correctly and collect correctly and successfully and then monitor dot write text this text one breaks now we need to do it for the second one the actual uh, Time monitor dot set cursor pause pause 
number two. And that is it. Now we need to define how it's going to be. And as you can see, because this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and AM and PM, because it's AM and PM, it's a 12 hour clock technically. We, I will be showing you the AM and PM bit down at the bottom of the script. But to make it 12 hours, we need to do while time is greater than 12, do time equals time minus 12. So say if it's 13, it will minus 12, so it will be 1. So if it was 13, as in, you know, uh, 13, you know, when it's 13 on a clock, it means 1 p.m., then it would be 1 p.m. instead of just 13, and no variable at the end. Now we break the script and end it. Right, now this is the more long haul bit, but um, if you want to watch all of this, feel free to. You're probably more likely to get it successful. But I will put in a bit uh, after the first three or so, so that you can just skip to the end, because it's just a te set template where we're going to put while time is greater than or equal to zero, and time is less than one, do, then the function that we did, that's all that code, so you don't have to put like five lines, you put the function, then one to dot right, dot right, word, one. So that means that once it's in between zero and one, it's going to round up to one. Then you simply need to break and end it. Now we're going to be doing this all the way down. There's one and times less than two. Do function. Oops. Monitor dot right. Two. Break and end. File time. Two. Times less than three. Right. Now this will take you about five minutes, which isn't that long. Uh, but I'm gonna put a link. Well, not a link. I'm gonna put. A, there'll be a, probably an annotation on the screen right now, and you can just skip down to once I've got to the twelve, and then we will be doing the AM and PM variables. You can keep watching. That's totally fine. Then at least you know if you go wrong, you can just look at the screen, and the code will also be in the description. So I'm gonna keep going. Well, time. Then I go to three and times less than four. Do function monitor. Oh, that's the syntax error there. And I apologise in advance if this doesn't work straight away. Um, you, I may have put some spelling errors, but it does correct you at the top. It tells you where to go, what line to go to, and it's pretty easy to uh, correct. By the way, you can't put the break and end in the function because um, that ends the function early and therefore um, you can't have two ends, it just doesn't work uh, although it takes longer it's just sort of the way it is so while time is greater than equal to 4 and times less oh, 4 when you could copy and paste, that would be pretty awesome do function monitor dot write While I think ahead, if there's any computer craft videos, uh, tutorials, anything that you actually are stuck on and you want me to sort of go over, uh, just put it in the description and I will be sure to look at every single comment. Uh, put it in the comments for the description. Put it in the comments and I'll be sure to look at every single comment. And uh, even if you're just thinking, oh, he's, he's not going to do a tutorial specifically for me, I will. Uh, it's really simple. It helps me remember. Um, so I'm learning Lua. Also, you can be doing the same. Get your slot picture. Monitor dot right. Seven. Um, I have developed a script for a nuclear reactor which detects once uh, it starts outputting it, it has like a, a cycle of um, of it pulling the, the uranium cells out just one uranium cell and putting it back in but while it, before it's put it back in it goes through a detector which detects if there is any depleted cells and then uh, if there's any depleted cells detected 
it flushes the whole system and inputs a new set of uh, uranium cells and the ice keeps flowing in but, doesn't, um, but the ice does not um, keep flowing in and fill up the whole reactor it stops it uh, simply with computer craft and it automatically creates its own uranium cells using uh, energy collectors and energy condensers I put an 8, an eight there good job just to keep looking at the one above it because it's exactly the same template and you can see if you've got anything wrong as well. Do F. So if you would like to see a tutorial for that I can surely do that for you. Just put it in the comments. And it's 100% safe, it will never explode because the computer detects if it is um, above a certain temperature, outputs a redstone signal which kills the generator also uh, puts an alert screen up on the computer to tell you uh, at what time it went on. It, like 10 minutes ago the reactor failed or it would say like OS time when it failed. Well, you could also have a computer which says the OS time as we do it now. Uh, so you can see how long ago it actually was. It's quite cool. Because you uh, would actually get this computer, put a floppy disk drive, uh, a disk drive next to it, export it to a floppy disk by doing copy, the name of this function, which is would be copy clock, and then space slash disk slash, and then whatever you're going to call it on there. I just call it clock copy or something. Uh, and then you can do it on another computer, so you have two two clocks. So you could put a divider in the middle, so this one's two by two, and that one's two by two. Um, and one of them has the, the 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 OS time, and one of them has the time that the reactor failed. so that it pretty much tells you how long ago React fails. Right, so now we're on 12. Thanks for rejoining us if you uh, skip this part. Okay, so we're on 12, break. End, oops, space. Eh, eh, I'm getting slow. End. Okay, now we need to define a brand new variable, which I'm going to call time original. Right, and we're going to make this equal to OS time. Take two spaces if you want. So if time original is less than or equal to 12, then monitor dot set output set set cursor. Set output. And this is the third line. So I'm gonna call it nine and three. If you had a five by five computer, you can make that in the middle. Uh, it's probably like five by four, nine five or something. <laughs> And then it's going to write uh, because it's uh, this is before 12. Uh, this after no, it's before 12. Sorry. Um, it's going to write the variable which we define at the top, which is am, which will make it write the words am. Anything else, we just put the word else. Space monitor dot set cursor pause nine three. Three monitor. Not right. Here. Yeah. And then you're going to end this script. And then finally, we just need to put the computer to sleep for a set amount of time. I'm going to make it one second. Um, then we're going to term clear it as well. Because after each sequence, it will clear because it rewrites the sequence every time. And then we're going to end it. So you can save it. Exit. And the clock. And it says the time is 5 p.m. So yeah, if this tutorial has been of help, please leave a like and comment with what you want to see next. Goodbye.